It is not fake snow, it's real snow. Uh, it's just machine made. If you ask Mother Nature, making snow is easy. Just have some cold air and a little atmospheric moisture. At ski resorts, there's a few more factors at play. We also have little calculators for um, converting from uh, ambient temperature and humidity, what the approximate wet bulb is. Resorts all over the country use what they call snow guns to make their own snow, since relying on the real stuff can leave you waiting. We typically begin in November uh, when the temperatures permit and uh, with the finicky Southeast Michigan weather, we typically are uh, making snow all the way up to March. Underneath the mountain are miles of water pipelines leading to 54 snow making guns. The water comes into the fan gun with, uh, mixes with the air in the nucleator and that creates little particles. These little particles are the teeny tiny start of a snowflake and the spraying water mist freezes to them, making them bigger and bigger. The technology of making snow has evolved from what they used in 1960 to the state-of-the-art stuff that they're using today. This is one of two here at uh, Mount Brighton. This is a built-in weather station that tells the machine when and how to make the snow. And check this out, it's actually made right here in Michigan. Depending on the size of the ski resort, the guns can use as much as 3,500 gallons of water per minute. When the snow is created, it can get shot as far as 200 feet. How long would it take for you to have enough snow to cover the whole mountain? So it would take us about 72 hours of consecutive snow making to get the whole mountain open with a depth of about two feet. Thanks to the improvement in technology, the process has become much more energy efficient. The water used at Mount Brighton comes from a pond behind the mountain. Turn itself on and off. Um, every 30 seconds it's checking and, and adjusting, so it's really cool technology. Mount Brighton and other local resorts will continue to use human-made snow to fill in the gaps left by Mother Nature, so winter fun can continue for many more weeks.